Evening, everyone. How's it going out there? Welcome back here to a Wednesday night, 9.20 in the p.m. out here along the West Coast where I'm at. Uh, November 12th, 2025 is the date. Latest activity here on the Earthquake 3D Globe shows a 2.5. Uh, looks like down in South America, they're in the red flag. Also, a little 1.0 up there in uh, California. Uh, before we get to the earthquake activity, we're getting a lot of questions on if we're going to see the auroras again tonight. Those have definitely stirred up pretty significantly. Not quite as intense as last night's solar storm, but this is the current aurora oval showing uh, definitely some aurora activity taking place out there right now. Um, if you have clear skies. In Northern California here, we got rain coming in and heavily clouded uh, skies, so we're not going to see anything, but... Uh, yeah, I've been seeing those Aurora photos all over the place uh, this evening as well on the social media sites. Um, let's go ahead and check out the solar wind speed here. Now we did see, I believe this is going to be that third one, that third CME that was much faster than the previous two. That did bump up the uh, speed up a little bit. Currently sitting at 881, uh, a little bit less than what uh, I had expected. But that is just enough uh, solar wind to, you know, see those auroras out there because the BTBZ component there is cooperating, not uh, like it was last night. Again, that was just wide open as we were getting hammered with a couple different CMEs. Uh, but it's doing it's doing its job. You know, it's uh, it's allowing the aurora activity tonight to stir up. We're still getting bombarded here with a massive proton event. Uh, flare threat will remain elevated here. Let's see what we got here for the latest imagery of this 4274 up here on the northwestern quadrant of the sun. Just about ready to crest over there on the western end or western edge. Uh, still fairly complex. That's about the only one here. Uh, this is, I don't know why it loads like that. Just super high resolution uh, image here of the sun. You can zoom in really close and see that sunspot. Uh, but that's about the only one here that shows any major complexity that's capable of producing, you know, some some further uh, X-flare activity. There's the uh, fast-moving X-flare there from uh, two days ago. Where, you know, tonight we're already seeing the uh, high-speed solar wind stream uh, and that CME from that X-flare, which was the uh, sixth largest one in uh, this solar cycle. No more X flares since then, a couple C flares, but uh, we do have the possibility there of some further X flare activity at 55% chance for X flare, M flare at 85, and uh, the proton events here just continuing to bombard the planet. All right, so watch for that uh, through the evening. And by the way, the ones that sent in the um, Aurora photos, I appreciate it. Got about 30 more on top of the 70 I got last night, so. I'm probably going to have about 100 pictures here to show. Um, it's going to take me a little bit to get to those and um, put them all together in a little neat little montage video. Or I may just display them uh, on a future update here. But we will get that. I didn't have time to today. Uh, but I do appreciate those coming in. All right, so earthquake activity. You know, we've been talking about how we've just been getting hammered here with, uh, with space weather activity, right? Bombarded. Protons, massive uh, CMEs, high-speed solar wind streams slamming into the planet. What do we got for earthquake activity? What do we got to show for that besides some awesome pictures, obviously? Uh, the largest magnitude here in the last 24 hours goes to a 5.7 from yesterday. Uh, today so far, the 5.3 in the Cyprus area. No six-pointers, no seven-pointers. Um, there is a little bit of unusual uh, uptick there across the Cyprus area. That was this morning. Uh, got a couple fives in there, fours, and a bunch of threes and twos. That goes along with a swarm up there in Turkey, which is still continuously swarming. Uh, as I've said it before in past videos, I do think this is leading to something bigger here in the re in the region. Just not quite sure exactly what yet, but uh, it's definitely stirring up some uh, interesting earthquake activity. A uh, little bit of movement, you know, all across the plates here. But, but to be honest, folks, you know, I'm definitely being honest here. This looks like any normal day, aside from the activity up in uh, the Cyprus area and Turkey area. You know, I wouldn't think that, uh, you know, we'd be getting hammered with space weather activity right now because there's really nothing to show for it. 
There's no major uptick in earthquake activity. Um, you know, this, I think right now is going to have to be one for the books here that uh, d d disqualifies that. I'm not completely convinced that it does or doesn't affect the earthquake activity here on the planet when it comes to CMEs, coronal holes, proton events. But as of late here, we've been looking at more earthquake activity when a decent sized coronal hole is facing the planet because the magnetic lines from that coronal hole shoot out straight from the sun uh, out into space. And I think that has a little bit more to do with stirring up earthquake activity compared to what we've been seeing here the last couple nights. Because there, to be honest, there's nothing to show for it. This is what we see on any given day. In fact, it's a little light on the earthquake side. No sixes, no sevens, no big time swarm, um, you know, aside from the Turkey area, but that's been swarming like that for a couple months straight now. Uh, another 2.5 Cyprus area. The Japan region, yes, we got quite a few fours, some fours up there around the uh, Kamchatka area. Taiwan's pretty active as well, but you know, this, this happens on any given day, regardless of the space weather activity. 5.1 down here. Uh, let's see, where is that earthquake? Looks like it's the southern end here of the Philippine Trench. Fairly recent. Let's see, in fact, that's the most recent here. And that's south here of the activity that we stir that we're stirring up here uh, earlier this month and last month. Remember the seven pointer and the bunch of sixes up here as well. Getting some newer activity south here. That is an extension of the Philippine Trench here. That's one area that really hasn't got hit. Same for the area up north. We'll continue to watch that, though, for some uh, potentially larger movement. Uh, New Zealand 3.1. couple other deep quakes there across Fiji, but really nothing major happening. Um, West Coast activity. There's that earthquake off the Blanco Fracture Zone. Off of it. Um, that marks the third or maybe the fourth earthquake here in this area in the last week. Strikes the boundary out there. You can see it on the uh, oceanic crust map. And I bet you here that uh, the trimmer activity underneath this region should be elevated again. Or should continue to see slow slip events elevated. Uh, I haven't even looked at it. So let's go see what we got here. Yeah, there we go. 276 is the uh, number up here that we got. Those are slow slip events underneath the area into the Cascadia subduction zone below and deep uh, from the locked area. Locked area sits upstream, more shallower. That's where all the tension and strains building for the next big mega quake out here. Uh, but that's, yeah, I mean, that uh, brings up the tally here for the last week. Not a huge number, but most of it has been down here across the southern end, along with, uh, you know, the earthquake activity that's been happening out here in the week. It's applying further strain and stress here, resulting in pushing that plate, the Juan de Fuca plate, further underneath the north american plate here but at the same time we're we're uh we're adding strain and stress out here big time there's actually one right on the cascadia subduction zone as well that's a little scary uh three that's a 3.4 very shallow crustal quake that's just right prior to where the juan de fuca plate subducts here that's some interesting activity stirring up there Nothing major across Washington. A couple of smaller earthquakes here along the uh, coast range of California, Bay Area. Nothing really new to report there as far as the earthquake activity on the Calaveras Fault there. It's been swarming a couple days back here now. So, But there was a 1.6 this morning, and then it looks like a recent 1.6 around the Pacifica area. That's just off the San Andreas Fault. Um, Southern California, a little light little light in terms of earthquake activity one earthquake above the 2.5 level Ooh, look where it's at <laughs> this is just off the southern branch here this is a section of the southern branch that did not go during the last rupture of the southern branch of the san andreas fault which is it extends more up here this is just a segment of it um, so this one definitely well locked but so is the remainder of the southern branch of the san andreas fault as it heads up to the parkfield section that's got uh, a lot of strain built up. But yeah, there was 2.5 just off of it. That's I don't know if we've had anything like that here in the last week. Maybe a couple in that area. Yeah, it looks like there has been a few. Uh, but for now, it sleeps. But I don't know for how much longer. And that's the San Andreas Fault. It's going to 
produce a big, big earthquake here. Um, sooner than later, I think. I don't see that going another 50 or 100 years. That That's just... That d doesn't seem reasonable when it comes to the intervals that it normally sees big earthquakes you know as far as the time frame goes uh, Yellowstone nothing major going on it looks like a couple smaller earthquakes out there today let's see what we got here on the <clears throat> the recorded seismograph stations here if they're working the night I don't know the volcano site yep they're working let's see what we got yeah it went offline for a little bit uh, it is back up and running this is the current time couple earthquakes there in the late afternoon nothing big going on there for now uh, oil fields of texas still rocking and rolling the eastern portion of the country quiet up into alaska yeah there's there's earthquakes i don't think we got anything above that 4.4 this morning a couple twos in there but uh just typical earthquake activity here into that subduction zone and of course many many other faults that uh are up there in the beautiful state of alaska well, let's take a look here at the globe. Yeah, 2.5 down here across the... Uh, oh, where is that going to be at? Looks like it's around the Costa Rica area, maybe. Nicaragua region, offshore. Nothing big. Some twos and threes, even a couple fours down there. Uh, same for the middle, or the uh, Peru Chile Trench. Nothing major going on. Some older activity down south here. Um, last night, that should be dropping off the uh, globe here pretty quick. Uh, but keep your eyes open over here. I do think we're going to see a bigger quake. It's it's just swarming like crazy around a couple different regions here. Way more than normal. That 5.1 here is actually fairly deep there on the Philippine Trench. I just noticed that. 79 miles into that uh, southern end of the subduction zone. So maybe building up uh, some some potential down south here of the uh, previous activity all right um, what else we got going on speaking of that looks like there was an earthquake that just popped in there all right um, yeah so space weather watch for that tonight if you're interested the speed is way up there so um, and that BTBZ component uh, is looking uh, favorable uh, for the aurora activity it's definitely stirring up no chance for me to see it though this evening i got clouds and rain coming in speaking of that we got uh take a look here at the system just offshore I had a couple of sprinkles earlier ahead of the front but that's set to come in overnight early in the morning uh, for thursday morning and bring you know fairly sufficient rainfall out here for northern california um, southern california going to get in on a bunch as well that low pressure is going to be cut off here uh, and just stir up a bunch of moisture that's off there in the Pacific. Los Angeles is going to pick, pick up quite a bit of rain, the whole area down there. Uh, going to see some decent precipitation there. So, And then it wraps back around. It looks like another cutoff low. And then a quick mover coming in there from the northwest. You know, all, most of the time these storms are going to, you'll see the effects of those across the country here. Uh, looks like there is some rain and maybe, maybe even some severe weather threat here as we head towards uh, next Thursday or so, but we'll have to watch that. Either way, it looks like storm after storm. <laughs> there you go, that's what you want to see, right? Snow on the map. Looks like uh, Kansas and portions of uh, the panhandle there in Oklahoma and Texas, but that's a ways out there. It's, you know, that's at the end of the month. May or may not happen, but we'll continue to check back on it. Either way, precipitation, total accumulated rates out here pretty impressive we should pick up a couple inches of rain here around chico uh, after all is said and done with these storm systems coming in maybe maybe some more all right folks i'm gonna call it i've uh, been kind of a eh, not too bad of a day just uh it just tired i don't know i don't know if it's got something anything to do with the space weather activity or what but i'm just feeling like i'm dragging today for some reason have a good one. We'll see you guys out here um, in the morning for the Thursday morning update. And I will get these photos that you guys sent me uh, and get them marked. Because I want to be able to take each photo and 
integrate the text on where it's at, you know, the place. And um, and then be able to show it here on one of my updates. So it just takes a little bit to um, bring up each picture and type in the location and whatnot. Go through each email. I probably have a hundred emails now, uh, and maybe some more by by morning. But uh, we'll get to it for sure. Keep them coming. We'll see you guys out here in the morning. Have a good night.